The U.S. federal debt has reached an all-time high of $31.4 trillion, which is approaching the maximum limit that the government is allowed to borrow. This has led to concerns over the debt ceiling, which is why Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has outlined a plan to address it. However, divisions in the Republican Party could make it harder than ever to reach a compromise with Democrats risking a government shutdown or default. The cost of buying insurance against a federal default has also reached a high point in over a decade. The federal government could run out of money by July 2023, according to the Congressional Budget Office, which could result in catastrophic consequences. Both political parties have different solutions to the debt ceiling debate. Republicans viewed this as an opportunity to strong-arm Democrats into reducing spending, while Democrats want to raise the debt ceiling with the promise to revisit spending cuts later. The big question is what Republicans will accept, and the answer will depend on who's in charge. McCarthy wants to reduce spending down to the same amount as in 2022 and curtail the growth in domestic spending at 1% per year over the next decade. However, he will be negotiating with the right flank of his party as well as Democrats, which could place him in a tough spot. In light of the risks, it's likely that the two parties will ultimately meet in the middle before default. But given the hyperpolarized climate in Washington, that's not a foregone conclusion.